Hey, welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Millgrove, Ontario, Canada. We're bringing you, it's a 2016 15-foot Taylor Coach to show you you can get a lot of the great same features in the large trailers and a more of a compact for your customers out there that are limited in your tow capacity of what you can tow. Um, and again, it's a 15 foot, it's uh, 78 inches wide, it is a rear door um, with a lot of great features inside. It still has all our leveling jacks around the outside, our A&E rollout awning um, on, the, on the side of the coach. And something a few other customers had asked at times, because I always talk about we have a one piece underbelly and a one piece aluminum roof. Well, this time, we brought the ladder out so we can have Bob go up and we're going to scan so you can see what the one piece aluminum roof looks like compared to all our competitors that use rubber roofs. Um, we choose not to use that. Uh, so we'll have Bob scan that before we take you on the inside. Okay, so now you can see we've got a one piece roof. We also don't use any RV products on our roofs. It's all an industrial silicone, which we've always done. So our roof sealants go between six to 10 years before there's any maintenance when it comes to roof sealants on the top of the trailer. Hey, now we got you inside the coach. Something I wanted to bring to your attention too that I really teach a lot of my customers that get involved with us that are looking for something more compact like this when you're out traveling because you're limited on your tow capacity as well. The thing that's great is you got all the features of the big units but what's nice is also when you're traveling down the road and you've decided you're going the wrong way, that you can do a UE on the road and head in the right direction and you're not looking for a spot to try to get turned around. It makes it much more convenient and a much more adventurous in the areas that you're going to travel, that you can head really wherever you want to travel. Um, saying that in that note, we've got you back to this 15. It's got a nice size closet in the back, so you've got lots of hanging space with the two shelves with storage below for shoes and everything when you come on board of where to put your shoes. Um, being that this one does have the furnace and the air conditioner in it as an option, it's also done where it's all your LED readout. So when you want to put it on just fan on your air conditioner, your cool, or your furnace, you can pick on which one you you want to run inside the coach and what's really nice is it keeps that control temperature right around your your uh, waist or your uh, chest height for for temperature inside the coach which people really like so it's a nice even temperature uh, the other thing it's got on board we've got our go power with a backlit display here so you just touch your button now and it gives us our different readouts and the new thing that they've also come up is for your cell phone. So it's got a, a spot for charging your cell phone also from the solar panel today, which is a new feature that they've just added on all our uh, solar systems or our Go Power systems that we're running in our coaches. Um, so saying that, we're still back to our little dinette here with our big side window for visibility looking out when we're sitting we're having a bite to eat. Lots of storage up above, so we've got a nice uh, six foot three cabinet up above to match it with storage underneath. Um, up at the front here, I'll bob slide around. This is a dinette model um, where our bed at the front here is 54 by 75. If you want, you can uh, also have this with a couch at the front. It's personal choice if you want a double dinette. The thing that's nice about the double dinette versus the couch, if you want to have a couple in for a bite to eat or anything like that that you meet in the campground, you can always bring your main bed up and you got a nice big place to sit up here to sit and have a bite to eat. You can drop this table down, put your throw pillows at the back, and it looks like you have a couch instead of a dinette. So it gives you options of what you can do versus just having the couch at the front, but that's a personal choice on what people are looking for in trailers. Um, so we've got our air conditioner now, and it, which doesn't have any controls on it. It's all ran from the thermostat over here on the wall to what, what, what uh, you want to run for, for temperature and speeds. It all selects on its own. We still have our bunk up at the front that we've always offered. You got your little ledge. From there, we've got uh, a nice size counter where you've got a two burner cooktop, a 2.7 and a Dometic fridge. Show some of you so you see what the fridge looks like. So you can see in the fridge wise, you've got a freezer in it as well. So you've got your freezer with a nice size fridge. Uh, you've got your storage up above here with your microwave. They did also offer, ask for the, the option to get a flip up which is an option we offer too. So if they wanted a little extra counter space, they're getting a little extra counter space. You got your storage below, along with your cutlery tray that we've offered in a lot of our coaches as well. 
From there, I'll have Bob slide by me and we'll show you in the bathroom that we did a little different. Because I get lots of different couples that will say to me, Brad, never ever shower in the trailer. And I'm going, well, if you don't want to shower, don't put a shower in a trailer that you're never going to use. Um, so this particular couple, um, this is headed into down into Ohio. Um, they went with just your built-in toilet. They've got your sink in there. Bob can get it in there. You got your sink with your mirror with your medicine cabinet. So there's storage below it. Or I should say behind it on the on the mirror you have storage behind it. Um, so you've got your you would have your uh, hot and cold running water in the bathroom, and you don't have your lip to stand over to come in and out of the bathroom. You can just literally walk in the bathroom. From there, we also have your storage underneath your sink area here for maybe putting some extra linens and bed and uh, I should say towels and things like that. That uh, for your bathroom needs and that, and for go showering and everything too when you're in at the parks. Um, so that shows you some of the features on this uh, pretty unique uh, 15 foot. Um, and weight wise with the features that were on this trailer too are coming just over the 1700 pounds as it sits here um, including with the air conditioner on it um, and again watch for more videos we've got a few more videos coming out uh, still before the end of the year here I hope you really enjoyed it uh, if you got any questions or you're looking for anything in our product uh, don't hesitate to give me a call or send me an email I'd be more glad to chat with you or answer your emails and again I hope you enjoyed it we'll talk to you soon Take care. Bye now.